Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to solve the following circle geometry examples by applying the appropriate circle theorems. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concept. In the first example we have in the figure below, O is the center of the circle, A, B, C, D, E. The line DB is equal to DF, as shown in the diagram. AODF, BOE, and line BCF are straight lines. Angle CFD is equal to 10 degrees. We are to calculate, given reasons, the size of the following angles. D2, A, angle O2, C1, E, angle C2, and angle O3. Starting with angle D2, we've been told that the lines BD, I'm going to have light that, and the lines DF are equal. So stating that we have BD is equal to DF. Therefore, the triangle BDF is an isosceles triangle and that means the base angles of an isosceles triangles are equal. We have B3 is equal to angle F which is equal to 10 degrees. Given in the question we've been told that the line AO DF is a straight line and that means that the angle D2 is equal to angle B3 plus angle F. The reason being the external angle of a triangle. Therefore, angle D2 is equal to B3, which is 10 degrees, plus angle F, 10 degrees, and that will give us 20 degrees. To calculate angle A, O is the center of the circle, so therefore the line, I'm going to highlight that, the line AOD is the diameter of a circle. That means that angle at B, that's B1 and 2, is 90 degree. The reason being the angle in the semicircle. So I have B1 plus B2 is 90 degree. The angle subtended by the diameter at the circumference is 90 or angle in a semicircle therefore angle ABD is equal to 90 degrees. In summary ABD is a triangle and the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 so we have angle A plus angle ABD, which is 90, plus angle D2 is equal to 180 degrees. Sum of angles in a triangle, and the triangle is ABD. I'm going to highlight the triangle so you can see A, B, and B, D. So therefore, putting in the parameters or the values, we have angle A plus angle A, B, D, which has been shown to be 90, plus angle D2. In the first part of the question, angle D2 is shown to be 20 degrees. That's 180. Angle A plus 110 degrees equals 180. Moving our 110 degrees to the other side or applying the balance method, we have 180 degrees minus 110 degrees and that will give us 70 degrees. Going to the next part of the question, to find angle O2, the lines OD and line 
will be a red eye. Therefore, I'm going to state that OB is equal to OD and the reason being the red eye. Therefore, triangle BOD is an isosceles triangle. Base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. So therefore, we have angle B2 equal to angle D2, which is equal to 20 degrees. Remember, the first part of the question, we're able to show that angle D2 equals to 20 degrees. Therefore, to find O2, we have angle O2 plus angle B2 plus angle D2 is equal to 180 degrees. The reason being angles in a triangle and that triangle is triangle BOD. Add up to 180. O2, which is the angle we are looking for, plus B2, 20 degrees as shown, plus D2, 20 degrees equals to 180 degrees. O2 plus 40 is 180. I'm going to adjust that. 40 degrees equals to 180 degrees. Therefore, moving my 40 degrees to the other side, I have angles O2 equals 180 degrees minus 40 degrees, which is equal to 40 degrees. To find angle C1, Note that the quadrilateral ABCD, I lighten that I have AB, I have BC, I have AD and CD. That's a cyclic chord because all the corners or all the angles are touching the circumference of the circle. Therefore, angle C1 plus Angle A is equal to 180 degrees. The reason being the opposite angle of a cyclic chord. Opposite angle of a cyclic chord. A, as shown or as calculated earlier, is 70 degrees. So we have angle C1 plus 70 degrees equals to 180 degrees. Taking 70 degrees to the other side, we have angle C1 equals 180 degrees minus 70 degrees. Therefore, angle C1 equals 110 degrees. To find angle E, if you look at the point A, B, D, E, drawing the butterfly, I have, or the boat eye, that's just a rough sketch there. I have angles in the same segment are equal. So therefore, angle B1 is equal to angle D1. Likewise, angle A is equal to angle E. So stating that I have angle A equals to Angle E, which is equal to 70 degrees. The reason being angle in the same segment. For angle C2, the line BCF is a straight line. Therefore, the angle C1 plus angle C2 is equal to 180 degrees. The reason being angles on a straight line add up to 180. C1, as shown, is 110 degrees plus C2, which is the angle we are looking for or we are trying to find 
therefore there's an abalance method taking 110 to the other side i have 180 degrees minus 110 my c2 is equal to 70 degrees for the last part of this question the line be is a straight line so therefore angle o2 and o3 that's o2 plus o3 is equal to 180 degrees the reason being angle on a straight line which add up to 180 we're, we've been able to calculate o2 to be 40 degrees so we have 40 degrees plus o3 is 180 and using the balance method i have o3 is equal to 180 degrees minus 40 degrees that will give us 140 degrees let's look at another example we have in the diagram below adf is a tangent to the circle with points e b c and d on the circumference of the circle line ab is parallel to line dc and ec is equal to dc if angle cdf is equal to x name with reasons five other angles equal to x going to the diagram we have the parallel line ab and the parallel line ab is parallel to dc and if i have the line adf cutting through the parallel line then the angle at a will be equal to the angle at x because they are corresponding so therefore i have angle a equal to x and the reason being corresponding angles the next angle is your angle e i have e2 is equal to x that's the tan code i'm going to show you that from the diagram we have triangle dec and the line adf has been shown to be the tangent to that diagram what that means is the external angle here is equal to the angle subtended by the other chord which is e2 and that's the tan chord theorem then we have line ec equal to line cd as shown in the diagram therefore triangle dce or ecd is isosceles and base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal therefore angle e2 is equal to angle d2 which is equal to x i'm going to tag all the angles equal to x quickly i have d2 equals to x e2 is also equal to x as base angle of an isosceles we've been able to show that angle at a is equal to x also line a b is parallel to line this c so therefore if i draw my z for my alternate angle i have a e e d and d e that's my alternate angle and we know that alternate angles are equal so what that means is angle e1 and d2 are equal which is x so stating that i have e1 is equal to angle d2 which is equal to x the reason being alternate angles We've been able to find four angles equal to x the last angle debc is a cyclic chord 
therefore, if you note the line AEB, that's the straight line here, such that the external angle of a cyclic chord is equal to the opposite interior angle. So therefore, you have angle E1 equal to the old angle here, C1 and C2. So stating that, I have angle E1 is equal to angles C1 plus C2, which is also equal to X. So if I tag that in the diagram, I have C1 plus E2 equals to X. Therefore, we've been able to find the five angles, which are A, E1, E2, D2, and angles C1 and C2. Let's look at one more example. We have in the diagram below, O is the set of the circle. The line KJ is equal to line JL and angle K equals to 50 degrees. Determine given reasons, the values of angles MOL, N and L. And then we are to prove that MOLN is a cyclic quadrilateral. If you look at the diagram, we've been told that KJ and JL are equal. And the theorem that states that the line from the center of a circle to the midpoint of the chord is perpendicular to the chord. That means the angle at J and J1 and J2 is equal to 90 degrees. I'm going to state that. So starting with angle MOL, we have angle MOL. is equal to 2 times angle at K. And the circle theorem that applies to that is angle at center is equal to 2 times the angle at the second front. So drawing that for illustration, I have MOL is equal to 2 times angle at K. So what that means is this angle is twice the angle at K. That will give us MOL is equal to 2 times 50 degrees, which is equal to 100 degrees. To find angle N, which is the next part of the question, the triangle N, K, and J, that's a right angle triangle. The sum of angles in a right angle triangle or any triangle add up to 180 degrees. So angle N plus angle K plus angle J, one, which I've been able to show that it's 90 degree from the circle theorem rule that states that the line from the center to the midpoint of a chord is perpendicular to that chord. I have that triangle, it's 180 degree. And the reason being sum of angles in a triangle, and that triangle is NKG. Therefore, substitutes in the values I have angle N plus angle at K, which is 50 degrees, plus angle J1, which I've been able to show to be 90, equals to 180 degrees. Angle N plus 140 equals to 180 degrees. Using the balance method, I have angle N equals 180 degrees minus 140 degrees. That will give us... 40 degrees. To find the last angle, L1, the line OM and OL are equal because they are radii. I'm going to state that. I have OM equals to line OL, the reason being the radii of the circle. Therefore, 
triangle MOL is an isosceles triangle. And what that means is the base angle of an isosceles triangle are equal. So M2 will be equal to L1. Let me tag that as X. Sum of angles in a triangle add up to 180. So I have angle O2 plus angle M2 plus angle L1 equals to 180 degrees. I have that to be X. So I have O2. O2 for my previous question is 100 degrees. I have this to be 100 as shown here. So therefore I have 100 degrees plus X plus X equals to 180 degrees. 100 degrees plus 2X equals to 180. 2x equals to 180 minus 100 degrees. Moving my 100 to the other side, that will give me 80 degrees. Dividing both sides by 2, I have 2 here 1. Therefore, my x, which is also equal to my L1, is equal to 40 degrees. Going to the last part of my question, we say it's proved that MOLN is a cyclic quadrilateral. From our two past um, questions, we were able to show that angle N is 40 degrees. So this is 40. And also angle L1 is 40 degrees. Therefore, we have angle L1 is equal to angle N which is 40 degrees, that's angle in the same segment, angle in the same segment, therefore, MO, LN, is a cyclic quadrilateral. Thanks for watching. Bye.